Have you ever been trying to put a screw in something and it just keeps turning and turning? That's usually an indication that the hole that you're trying to screw into is stripped. Nothing left, there's no wood to grab onto. So I've got a sample of that right here. And in this case, every, or in each case, your, uh, your wood screw has threads on it. And if those threads have nothing to grab onto, it's just gonna keep turning. Here's how to fix that. We're gonna need a few household items to get this started. So first thing we're gonna need are toothpicks. I can't find the regular wooden ones that I think we have somewhere, so I've got these awesome colorful ones. Those will work. Any toothpicks will do. It doesn't really matter. They need to be made out of wood, and they all are, So, um, as far as I know. Then we need some wood glue. Also, doesn't matter that much what kind. We just need something that's going to have that uh, ability to hold things in strong. And then, optionally, we can use a hammer to get this job done. Let's go ahead and see how this works. All right, so all we need to do here is grab some toothpicks. In this case, I believe all three of these holes are stripped. There's just, the wood has been pried away from where the threads are. So we're gonna do a little depth test, put it in, see how far we need to chop off this, uh, this uh, toothpick. And this one's pretty short, about half inch or five eighths of an inch. Um, so we're actually just gonna take a couple of those and get those prepped in there. And even two fit in pretty tightly. We're gonna get our wood glue and put a little bit of wood glue on these. Oh, helps if we open the lid. There we go. Okay. The wood glue's purpose is just to hold these in place so they don't just pop out when we go to put the screw in later. Okay, we'll twirl that around a little bit. Put those in as far as we can. And this is where the hammer is optional. We can actually just use the hammer to break those off just like that. And then in they, in they go. I'm going to use these same two toothpicks on the other holes. So again, a little more wood glue. There we go, that's plenty. Pop it in there, twirl it around a little bit. Get it to spread around so that it stays in nice and tight when we're done. We can also use the hammer to just tap these in. And then when we're ready, break them off. Okay, so now we've got those two foot filled. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on the third one. And I'll just use what's left of these ones. This one, so I'm using these same two toothpicks here the whole time for all three of the holes for the hinge on the door. Tap these guys in. And we're all set. All this is doing is giving us some additional wood or some material to grab onto so that when it's time to put these screws in, there's something to hold um, these threads in. Right now there's just too big of a hole, or there was just too big of a hole there to grab onto anything. So I'm gonna let that set. Um, usually with wood glue you wanna read the instructions, but it's usually gonna be done within an hour or so. Um, this one in particular says it will be done in um, at least 30 minutes, uh, let it dry overnight for the best bond. That's great to do. Um, usually within an hour you're gonna be fine. And then we'll come back in a little bit and check how this thing um, sits in there with the new screws. All right, we've given this some time to dry. Now it's time to go ahead and test the fit and make sure that the screw grabs in. So I've got the Phillips ready and the original screws that were in there. And I've kind of put screw or um, toothpicks where the center of the hole was, but it should kind of guide itself back into the right place. I can already feel that that's definitely grabbing a whole lot better now. There we go. Okay, now it's got something to grab onto, and I'll put this other one in, and I'll hopefully find this third screw that goes in the middle. This door is loose because my kids hang on the doorknob, and have uh, kind of ruined this bottom hinge here. So, but we'll get this last, or this uh, second one in until we find that third one. There we go. Okay, and we're good. And that's how to fill in a stripped hole for a wood screw.